Right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So, happy DLC day, gang, and as a result, I am bringing you a fresh build that involves a hell of a lot of the new pieces and one of the brand new animals. And for those that are members of the Discord, you're probably looking at the animal that I've chosen and thinking to yourself, that wasn't on the animal list. Yes, I kept it off because I wanted today's episode to be a surprise. Now, before we get into today's episode, I would just like to thank the people over at Frontier for giving me um, uh, early access to the Conservation Pack DLC. I very, very much appreciate it. It's an amazing DLC, plenty of new pieces, and the, um, and the animals are absolutely amazing. There is going to be another video out a bit later today that's going to cover all of the new pieces and the animals that you get in this DLC if you are thinking of getting it and haven't done so already. I will link the uh, Steam um, page for you to go and get this DLC should you be interested in the description box below. But without further ado, gang, let's jump in for a fresh episode of TW and our new animal. So here we are gang, we are at the entrance of TW and I have got hopefully an amazing episode in store for you. Not only am I going to be showing you off the new habitat for the Stowarski horse, I believe that's how we're saying it, I've probably completely butchered it, um, I'm going to suffer with that one I'm afraid, I think it's Stowarski or Shawarski, I, I'm not quite sure, I did actually check on Google Translate believe it or not before I started but my memory being what it is, I've forgotten the pronunciation already. But yes, not only am I going to show off the um, Swarovski horse habitat, I'm also going to be showing off a brand new restaurant cafe area um, that I really, really felt that we needed. I found an amazing thing on the workshop that Leaf created, and it's really helped me hammer home an amazing idea that I, you know, came up with basically on the fly when I was building the habitat. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, we're going to make our way over there, but a lot of you are probably thinking, why have I chosen this animal to do as my first one from the new DLC, especially as it wasn't on the animal list? And the reason for it, gang, is I had always planned to do this off the back of a comment I received. And someone said that this animal um, typically is felt pretty close to the camels in some zoos around the world. And when I was doing a little bit of research, they are. And I quite like the fact that we've got this camel hab that's really, really expansive. I really like the camel hab. I think it's something special. And I thought if we just did it across the way and we buried a restaurant in the middle, I think it could look really, really special. Now, what I want to say before I reveal it's beyond these trees, gang, is that the back end of the habitat, inside the actual hab is finished, but the back end on the outskirts isn't finished. And I'm to cover that in the what's happening next part of today's episode because I think it's going to be a really really cool idea and it's kind of off the back of another comment that was made um, that was really constructive criticism basically um, from the last episode regarding the kind of foliage in the zoo. Now what I'm going to do first is I am going to give you a nice big overview of the entire area. Then we'll do the restaurant first and then we'll do the Schwarzky horse um, after. And I'll basically show you what I've done um, with that. It's quite a large habitat but I felt like we needed a bit of space. There are fairly large animal um, so they needed um, to have a fair bit of room in the zoo I really really love their placement though and I think when we get the back end of the hab finished it will be amazing so let me just zoom out and give you a really really good view of what I have created now this is a lot of work, gang. I'm just going to throw it out there. It's taken me the best part of a week. Um, I obviously received a DLC early from the guys at Friends here, which was absolutely amazing. I think I've received it five days before um, the DLC um, was due for release. Um, I kind of knew I wanted to put this restaurant in here, so I decided to start building that first and then start building out the um, Swarovski horse habitat after. Um, and I really feel like the two have come together. And if if I just do a little flip reverse for you as well, this little area here I think looks absolutely amazing. I really, really feel like this has hammered home and become a really, really cool part of Tropical Wing Zoo. I kind of like the tree placement here and it's going to get even heavier and denser um, when I finally get the back end of the hab finished. I'm basically on about this area here. Not so much inside, but on the outside I've got this really cool idea that I want to try and hammer home, which is why this concrete wall is here. 
I'm going to talk to you more about that as today's episode goes on. So yeah, it's really, really cool. I like this little restaurant that we put in. So basically, my whole thinking behind this was I wanted to make the most of the new DLC. I wanted to try and make the most of the, as many of the pieces as I could. I wanted to make the most of the foliage. And I really wanted to make the most of the amazing animals that have been provided in it. And I really, really hope that I have ticked all of those boxes, gang. Um, and, uh, and that you really, really like what I've done. So, first and foremost, let's take a look at the restaurant. So, we've got this little walkway here now. Um, I've kind of opened up all this path. We had this piece here already, and... Um I decided to uh, I decided to kind of just expand it, just widen it a bit more. So we've got a path here, path here, connection there, and there is a connection at the end uh, as well. So um, that's going to be perfect for you know traffic of the guests and stuff. So you're going to be able to see your camels from this side, and then if you flip around, you can see the horses that side, which I absolutely love. I think it's really really cool. I am going to plant this out a bit more. Um, I really run out of time, gang. There's a few bits inside the restaurant that are not finished as well um i was cutting it fine basically to even be able to get this recorded edited rendered and ready for you guys um you know uh for the time allotted basically that i had so uh yeah i just hope you like what i've done uh to this point as you can see it's, it's a lot of work a real real lot of work um so yeah um, these are new benches, by the way, in the new DLC. I'm absolutely loving these. I'm actually thinking about going around the zoo and replacing quite a lot of the little low uh, benches that, that we've got around, uh, scattered around TW. I think these are a lot more kind of... Um, they feel a lot more like UK zoo type benches. Um, I, I love these. They are recolorable as well. Um, so if we go up this way, this is what I'm going to talk to you about that I found on the workshop that um, our good friend Leaf um, has uh, managed to uh, make and make a Steam workshop item, which I was really surprised. But basically, it, he, sort of, he sort of had to use a mod to make it, but then because of the way it works in the game, he was able to put it on the workshop and it's there for everybody to use. And it doesn't mess your game up it doesn't crash it um you know i had a few problems with the game crashing uh you know this week but it was the box of shop mod um so you are going to see some some of this at the moment i've got to go around basically and replace all the shops with the counter shops but stuff like those um little um ice cream desks and stuff that i made they've, they've all got to be basically remade all the carts and whatnot so, uh, I'm going to apologise if I'm smacking my lips a little bit. I've um, cut my lip and uh, it's a bit sore, gang. It's basically from my concentration. I tend to, you know, bite my lip and lip when I'm concentrating. But, um, yeah, this item here, the gravel item, back to what we actually should be talking about, the gravel item here that you can see on the ground. This is the item that Leaf has made and it's absolutely amazing. Now, what I would say is if you're going to pack out a big area, it's probably not perfect because it has got these lines in it because... Really, it's created to make kind of zen gardens, um, which I think will come in handy when we finally get to our area where that you know, going to have our panda and stuff in. But for now, I thought like it was the perfect item to kind of use here. I kind of tried to follow the grain the best way I could. Uh, there is a little bit that kind of goes a little bit um, wayward. But um, I just basically wanted to put in this clean gravel around this, um, around this decking area, basically, that's connected to our restaurant. And uh, I then just wanted to put some plants in here. I might add a few more. I might like add a larger one there, there, and there. So there is some different sizes. As you can see, there's some nice sizes there already. These are all new plants, based, by the way, in the DLC. And this one in particular, I am in love with because you can create massive bushes by just, you know, using a bunch of them and putting them together. I've kind of done it over here. Look how amazing that bush looks by just combining loads of those. Um, really, really in love with that. Um, and so, yeah, this is the cafe. This is Sunflower Cafe. Um, I basically did sunflowers because they are my wife's favourite flowers and they are a new item in the DLC as well and um, I kind of felt like this was just the perfect, perfect setting for it. Got these sunflowers in these like little planters um, either side of the door. We've got our little sunflower cafe um, sign. I didn't make this, I just downloaded this off of the internet just for today's episode but um, because I was running out of time, I am going to make my own. I am going to go back um, you know, after today's episode and make my own so that I've got a real unique sign there but I just wanted something there so that I could show you show it off to you guys 
Um, so basically this gravel, by the way, this has got a keeper access road that runs all the way up here and then there's a door here and it comes out the back and it actually works because I used the two meter path trick. Um, so our zookeepers can actually use that basically. So that's handy. Another little um, top tip using that two meter path, you can get you know really, really small, slim spots uh, for your zookeepers. So this is what it looks like on the outside. I've tried to follow with the whole conservation feel, you know, those grass roofs and um, you know, little bits and bobs that you know people are starting to use green renewable energies and that sort of thing. So I've kind of tried to follow suit. I haven't got all of the guttering on, which is a bit unfortunate. I just ran out of time. Um, so I didn't get the guttering on. I'll uh, get that done at a later date. And I also need to get some like wooden trim on like here and here just to kind of separate the corners a little bit but um, other than that I the outside is pretty pretty much finished um, so yeah let me take you inside gang so as you walk on through you met with this cool little um, yeah, walkway I just wanted to try to use some shapes and do something a bit different and I really feel like I've uh, I've done that with this uh, with this build um, so this, these are new items in the new DLC, all these planters and stuff, and I thought that they made for perfect little wall planters um, inside the building. If I just flip it around, this is what the restaurant is looking like. Now, we need some more furniture for in here. Um, a lot of the seating in the game just didn't look very nice, but we do need some new furniture um, to basically put inside here. Um, so um, I either need to make some or I need to visit the workshop. Um, probably visit the workshop because that's the sort of stuff that I really really struggle with there's a few items in here that I did actually um, steal off of a workshop item and um, I think that you know it just would have taken me too long to make them myself I'd seen this um, a Starbucks cafe item on the workshop I can't remember who the creator is um, I hate that I can't remember who it is but I will put it in the description box below a link to the uh, a link to the cafe because not only is the Starbucks like shop amazing in itself but there's loads of tiny little items in there that you can basically pull out of that and use in your own projects and they become amazing these stalls are in it these uh, all of all of the little stuff at the back you know like these um coffee makers the uh the microwaves um there's a few little other bits you know like a basket with some um ropes in and that represents little bread buns i thought that was amazing these little um these little sauce bottles i think they're really really cool so yeah as you know i kind of made the napkin thing but um you got you know um salt and pepper shakers there's loads of little items that i just thought were absolutely amazing um in uh, in that um in that thing on the workshop so i saved my bit of myself a bit of time and um you know I've, I've used them i've actually broken each of the pieces down to see how they're made and actually you know they're not actually too difficult to make like the little salt and pepper shakers are just four pieces um so uh yeah they're, they're pretty easy to make but um yeah i just had to go on the workshop and use those items because i'd seen that thing on the workshop for a while and i and i really really thought that some of the items there were, were top notch and so i've used some of them i'm probably gonna use some of the coffee boxes that are in that item as well and to kind of pack out some of these shelves i think um i think they would be perfect for that um so yeah i think that's something else i'm gonna do this in the middle is supposed to be like a little cake um stand but i didn't get around to finishing it um so uh, that's another little job that i've got to do but other than the furniture and that little cake thing we're pretty much done inside this building um it's really really unique it's um for me it's it's decorated completely different to anything i would do before um you know if we if we flip it around you can see the ceilings at three different levels um we've got these new spotlights that are provided in the new dlc which i think are amazing because I used to have to make my own using different pieces and now we don't have to worry about that too much but yeah we've got a big steel beam kind of in the middle separating um, this area to this area these are new lights from the DLC which I absolutely love I've, I've left them naked but they have got some nice wicker kind of covers that you can put on them they're a bit large which is one of the reasons I've left them the way I have um, I've put some shelves I've done this really intricate kind of tile design on the wall I kind of gone with white black and wood and I, I think it's just a really really nice color combination um 
I have had to do all of this though, this big cabinet. Um, I kind of made that using a few pieces. New bracket that we got in the DLC, I've used that because it's kind of like a holder holding all that up. New lights on the ceiling, again inspired by um, LIDA. Um, they're, they're very similar to the lights that I was using on the heat lamps, um, but um, these are far, far less pieces. As you can see, I haven't put all the white bits underneath. Um, I've just colored them because I think they actually look quite nice um, in this setting. But that's essentially a plate. That's um, just the little bottom part to um, something that we received in the European DLC. Um, and then that's just a light that's actually sunk into the ceiling. So yeah, it's really not too difficult to make that. The one, the heat lamp that Lyda made, um, that is a lot more difficult to make because he's used a bunch of items under here and he's uh, loads of little... Um, loads of little like metal racking things um, underneath, which are essentially the heat lamps that I'm using, um, you know, in the game. Because um, I thought they were just top, top notch. Um, and just save myself a little bit of time. Like, I'd say like 99% of this zoo is kind of built by me, but there's just the odd item where I've needed to save time, like here, that I've kind of just um, taken off the workshop. And uh, yeah, I uh, I just think that there's some people out there that are making some amazing things. These little um, plant pots, uh, these are made with, uh, you know, just the, some of the new stuff in the DLC, but I've just layered them to kind of make these um, really unique plant pots. Um, so yeah, if we just go along this way, as you can see, this is kind of like our little cafe area. Um, like I say, we need some furniture in here. This is like our little staff access. Um, I haven't finished this room. It's literally gonna be a storage room at the end of the day. Uh, but there is a door here that goes to the back and that's your backstage area. There's a lot of work that needs doing back here, but I will show you all this area, um, you know, as well, because uh, there's been a lot of work going on kind of back here as well. Uh, then you come back in um, and then you can go out onto the decking gang basically. So there's um, a doorway here and you can go out and there is some seating. Now, I love this little decking um, because you'd, you'd get a view of both of the haps and it's a really, really cool little place to kind of come and sit, chill out, have your coffee, your drink or your little sandwich, whatever it is you've got from the Sunflower Cafe. And you can see your camels this side and you can see your Swarovski horses this side. Um, so, uh, Swarovski, I don't know if I'm saying that right. May, I'm just going to say horses, okay? So I don't embarrass myself. Uh, and yeah, you can see your horses this side. The horses, obviously, a far, far better view than the camels. The camels are a little bit far away, but, um, you know, if they were to come close, you get a pretty good view of them. Um, but I really love this area. I really, really love this area. Um, what I'm actually thinking of doing over the back, uh, over the other side of this path, is actually building it up like foresty, um, along here, like really go into town with like some really heavy foliage along this because beyond that, over this direction is going to be where the pygmy hippos go. And I think they're going to feel a little bit too close to this uh, unless we were to do basically something over there. So yeah, that's kind of like the little seating area. So that's the restaurant. There's a little look at the roof. It's quite unique roof design, to be honest with you, gang, as well. I kind of done these indented areas for where all of the um, fans and stuff are. Now, I'm still using these ones because the new ones in the DLC were a little bit large for my liking. Um, I couldn't really make them fit in these gaps, so I'm still using the custom stuff. Um, but um, I still think it looks pretty cool. And then I did this little grass, um, you know, design on the roof as well uh, to kind of hammer home the whole conservation aspect. Uh, if we just come backstage, um, you will see we've got a little electric point there. And then we've got a little water butt, which is a new thing in the new DLC. I've decided to put that in. I thought that was a really cool little addition. Uh, there's our little staircase that goes up and into the shop. This is kind of like our staff access. And then uh, a bit more planting. And again, there's that plant kind of built up loads of little ones to make like a big bush. And I really love it. Really, really love it. We're going to be able to make some really beautiful, dense areas now um, with this foliage. And it's a nice shade of green as well, a little bit darker, which, um, which I'm very much in love with because I feel like a lot of the stuff is a very, very similar color. 
Um, so let's take a look at the horse's hab now, shall we? So this is kind of like one of the big main viewing areas, and I've basically put this watered uh, trough kind of area here. Now this hab was inspired by a couple that I found online that are um, in zoos um, around the world, basically. Um, and one of them had these, this lovely kind of watered area, and it was a good way to separate the viewing area to the horses. And then the other one that I kind of took a lot of inspiration from had this mound in the middle where the little scratch post was. And there was lots of like um, like rock formations basically all built up like throughout the hab. And so I decided to do that as well. I've decided to use like proper rock because that's what was used in the hab that I found. So I've built up all the rock formations in front of the viewing areas. Essentially these are kind of built up to kind of um, prevent the animals from getting too close to those fences um, and uh, potentially even jumping the fences. All of the fences are um, set slightly higher than the ground level that the horses are at anyway um, but um, you know you still kind of put that uh, natural barrier in place basically um, to stop those things happening and I just really like the two habs that I found online and um, what I'd really liked about them was that there was a good mix of kind of dirts and sands and then natural kind of grassy areas and what I've done with this hab is the back side and uh, of the hab, I've gone with longer grasses, basically. Um, they're kind of uh, a bit more built up towards the back. But then the stuff kind of at the front where the animals graze a bit more, that's where the grass is very, very short. And that's where all the flowers kind of bloom. And, um, you know, I've really wanted to use a lot of the stuff from the new DLC. So lots of the green bushy plants, but I've also used a lot of the flowers that are kind of, um, you know, for creating meadows and things like that. And I really feel like... Like it's come together very very nicely um so yeah this is kind of one of the viewing areas as you can see i'll just flip it around so you can get a real good look at it i kind of used that mud um again to kind of just make this shape at the front filled it with water i might make the water actually a bit clearer um for this for this hab um i just need to make this a little darker um and then as you can see i kind of built all the rocks up uh, like nice use of like wood and twigs and lots of bushes and whatnot and um, I really really feel like that's come alive basically um, these guys a lot like the camels a lot of the foliage would get eaten especially kind of grasses and flowers and stuff like that so there are going to be pockets that are a little longer obviously where the animals don't tend to kind of graze as much and it's kind of like um, you know areas that are kind of growing out from these um shielded areas so all the main bushes and the and the and the bigger kind of stuff like that i've i've put behind these areas along with things like the trees because the animals would rub on them and damage them so again we kind of put some tree protectors in um for all of that stuff um i've gone with a couple of different designs i kind of gone with this fence design that we were using over in the camels and then i've also kind of used the normal kind of protector uh style as well on this tree i am thinking of adding like maybe one more tree like here, basically. Um, but I don't want to take away the view of that kind of sandy mound uh, if I can help it. Because that's kind of like a nice little focal point of, um, of this hab, basically. Um, so yeah, as you can see, kind of just using all of these little designs um, here at the back. Uh, again there's one here i need to add a bit more foliage to some of them like these are a little unfinished but a lot of that is because of what i'm gonna do um at the back basically um at a later date um but as you can see look longer grasses towards the back um and then the grasses at the front right you know where it kind of creeps out from behind these fences it's a little long but then you can see i've gone super super short with the grass um, with the flowers and whatnot and then the odd little thing just popping up I think it's given us a really beautiful look to the hab and um, these flowers really add something because you you know you would see pockets of flowers just kind of popping up um, you know in grasses and whatnot and I might go around a majority of the habs and just add you know the daisies in particular because uh, in the UK we really do see those bloom in spring and summer um, but uh yeah there's not really too much to say about the actual outdoor hab as you can see uh, these little rocky outcrops with some woods and stuff i've kind of added those um because it was kind of very similar to what the uh hab i 
you know was inspired by was doing um, and then we kind of got this little grassy mound we've got these ones that are built up with some bushes inside and uh, you know we've got this one and that's all built up with the bushes inside as well um, you know I think maybe a little grassy pocket over here might be quite nice and a little bit here um, but other than that I think the outside of the hab is looking absolutely amazing in my opinion um, really liking all the different fences that I've used so we've got the low fences here these two are used in the um you know over from the camel hab and then i've gone with a you know a larger fence here um but still with the um sort of chicken wire so that the uh, guests can sort of see through it um i might build these up a little bit more so there's some higher bushes inside uh again there um and we we will really go to town over here when i get round to finishing this bit i just didn't want to start adding loads of stuff to the back because i knew i was not going to be able to finish that basically but i think some trees and stuff in here might be really really nice and i think some more rocky outcrops like this i am probably going to build up some rocks um you know along this wall in places maybe even put some at the top um but we're going to talk about that you know in a moment and then uh, the last bit really to show you is kind of what I've done as far as a shelter, like a, um, you know, an indoor kind of section is concerned and the, uh, the backstage stuff basically for uh, our zookeepers to access the animals and stuff like that. So as you can see, I have sort of been working back here. Um, I've really started to kind of iron this out over here. This is more access for kind of this and the shop. And then we are going to continue this road kind of this way eventually i've kind of just put the path in place but we probably will follow it this way and i am conscious that obviously we've got this here um i'm probably actually going to follow this wall up to here i'm running along the road basically and um we i'm gonna i'll talk about this in a moment actually when we do the what's happening next because it will make more sense when i've got a bit more time to kind of go over the plans uh, right now i should just be showing off what i've uh, what i've done so I've kind of already shown you this, haven't I? This is the shelter. So it's um, very, very similar to the Bongo's shelter. It's just larger. Uh, I had to make it bigger, obviously, because they're a much larger animal than the Bongo. But um, it's very, very similar. Very, very similar. Um, because I basically wanted to save time and I just didn't feel the need to create something like really, really unique for these guys when they would have something similar. Um, the roof is slightly different. Inside is a bit larger. Um, you know, uh, the stalls had to be bigger uh, for the animals, um, but uh, they've kind of got like this little outdoor area. This is more of a kind of a containment area ready for transportation. Um, and then I've gone with this really unique wall as well. Um, I just wanted to do something different at the back. I, I had a feeling that stuff was really starting to look a bit samey. So um, yeah, I just wanted to do something a bit different and I feel like uh, this little wooden wall looks really, really cool. And we might be able to use this, a different color combination of this for something else, um, you know, later on down the line. But I, um, I actually really, really like it. Uh, Lidas feeders there that I use all the time. Absolutely love those. Um, they're a brilliant asset to download off of the workshop to save yourself a bit of time um, because the ones I made a long time ago were not very good um, at all, not compared to those anyway. Um, so yeah, there's access there. This is a little area that they can be shut off in. And then this is basically what the inside of their stables looks like. So as you can see, very, very kind of similar layout to what we've done for uh, the Gemsbok and what we did for the Bongo. Very similar layout. Um, you know, it makes Makes sense to kind of do that um, I just need to kind of um, I've gone a bit different in here I've gone with some softer stuff and it was just based on what I was reading you know the concrete would actually be pretty harsh on the horses hooves so um, I decided to go, go with something a bit softer um, for in here um, and I, I do quite like it actually uh, just a bit of a bit of a change um, we've got all three of the stables uh, opened up and then if we go up this way, you're going to see that um, that's where our zookeeper access is. Now, I did want to add all of the new props because there's loads of new stuff like brooms and uh, spades and uh, shovels and all these sorts of things. I think they would, you know, probably take pride of place on the wall in here along with, um, you know, um, along with the hose pipe and all this stuff. But... Um, it was a real rush for me this week because the game, you know, crashed a few times. I was having issues with it. And then, um, you know, I've just had a bit of a tough week, basically. So, it's, yeah, it's been pretty tough trying to get this one finished. But 
that's the uh, that's the stables basically gang um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it to be honest with you I'm gonna give you a nice little zoom out so you can see you know the whole thing again it's a lovely real spacious habitat isn't it you know it's not over big um, we've only got the four animals at the moment obviously there's space for you know the herd to grow um, but I really really like it and um, you know I'm gonna cover what we're gonna be doing uh, in a moment as well but um, I just want to show you this before we go anywhere look at that for a view not only do you see your camels now you get to see the horses off in the distance as well okay gang so we are now to the what's happening next uh, section of today's episode now obviously um i have uh, gone on a bit of a tangent with this because obviously the guys at frontier gave me the dlc um, early uh, to kind of get this build out for you. I really, really hope you've liked the build. Let me know what you make of it in the comment section below. I'd very, very much appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I kind of um, have gone sideways because uh, of what I've done here, basically with this hab. But um, you know, we are going to be heading over to the um, Adventure Africa area because that's the big one I want to finish. But there are actually a few things I need to get done before I do that, and so that there might potentially be another episode this week with all of the little jobs that I've done I obviously want to finish that restaurant off um, there's a few obviously bits in there I want to do the furniture and the cakes uh, you know a little bit and then we're finished with the restaurant um, and then I, the other thing I want to do before I crack on with Adventure Africa is this bit at the back here now basically what I'm thinking of doing as you can see I've taken this level up already is I'm gonna probably take this level um, to kind of here and then I'm going to, you know, kind of uh, rock it all up at the bottom, uh, add some real dense kind of uh, forest here. And then I've got this fence uh, at the top and I'm going to run that fence basically along. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the pathway at this level or if I'm going to have the pathway at this level and kind of bank that smoothly. I'm not sure yet, but basically what I want to do is have some low kind of dense foliage um, here in front and then this side of it I want to go very kind of heavy with trees and bushes and kind of really fill it out and add a nice blanket of forest basically um, kind of all the way along here and all around the back here now I anticipate what we're going to do though is whether we do it up at this level or if we do it you know lower down I am going to have a pathway coming this way I kind of think it makes sense to have a pathway, you know, going off in this direction. We're going to have a road here and I'm going to bring it up and we're going to have another access gate, basically. And then I think that real really does make sense to have another access gate there. And then all of this will be completed. And then we are going to go a little North American, you know, over here that I, you know, I referred to that in my planning episode. We're going to go a little North American over here, but it will be a nice kind of way to access this area. You're going to see that we are very close to kind of the perimeter of the zoo here at the back. So, um, yeah, it's interesting kind of um, putting this hab in, how it's drawn us even further, basically, um, you know in that direction but that's essentially my plan there and i want to do a few more like rocky outcrops like i've already mentioned at the back but yeah i want a real dense kind of layer of foliage low here heavy here at the high at the back and um, i imagine you know when you're looking from the hab then that'll be really really cool because it will appear higher as well that's what I like about it. That foliage will appear a lot higher and it will give a nice layer of coverage uh, behind there, natural shade for the path that's going to run along, but also it kind of keeps what's beyond that point a bit of a mystery for the guests, which is obviously something we know zoos do. So yeah, that's a one job I want to do. That's a one job I want to do. And then the other thing I need to do, because I had to uninstall all the mods because they were causing the game to crash, uh, in particular the boxer shop mod um, I need to go around delete all these shops because I'm not going to put it back on I'm going to just delete all the shops and replace them I've already started I did the uh, one in the entrance um, I couldn't I did sorry two in the entrance I couldn't do the other two though it kept crashing the game um, because obviously there is an issue for building over there um, and then I've done Flamingo Flavors and I've done the gift shop ones but um, basically it's all the others that I need to go around and do and these in particular are a pain because these are very very small and trying to even add the um, 
even trying to add the new kind of bench style, the stall style ones, they don't look that nice. They just don't. Um, the great thing about the box of shop mod is it removed all of these items here as well. So uh, I might have to have a little bit of a rethink on these little counters. Um, personally, I think I've got too many of them in this zoo anyway. This is a UK zoo. Weather just wouldn't be nice and kind on this sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, I might have to have a little rethink on a few of them. But um, yeah, that's another job I want to do. And then the other thing is I just want to carry on, continue on doing little jobs, basically. Like this, for instance, adding new items that are from the DLC. This tap is amazing. What an item that is to add. These buckets are really nice. Um, I've been going around and replacing all of my wheelbarrows and all of my brooms and all that because we've got these items now and they look absolutely amazing. Um, all they need to give us next is custom bins. Um, and we are rocking and rolling basically for the backstage stuff because uh, you know they've really really helped reduce the piece count you know by giving me items like that uh, but yeah I need to go around and continue doing all the backstage areas um, continue just updating a few things uh, another thing I've been working on is kind of tying all this up all this bit here um, you know I've been having a little think about what I'm going to put in here this here is going to be an access to our skywalk now i mentioned the skywalk ages ago and it was something i wanted to do in the asian area and obviously because we know this asian area is going to be gigantic now um, i kind of want to do a small kind of skywalk and i want this to be the entrance point here and then it's going to go up and it's going to go our buffaloes are going to be here and it's going to go that way and then i'm i don't know what animal, what animal will be ho over here but it will go through that animal will come this way there'll probably be another smaller species here i want to come this way and then i want it to uh, be another kind of viewing it point for the uh for the sun bears about there because this is the only viewing area for the sun bears so i wanted there to be another one on the skywalk for the sun bears basically and then we come this way and down and uh, at the exit point it kind of takes you over to where the asian elephants will be i think now it will be like a really kind of cool little weird you know real kind of um like harsh kind of corners and whatnot on it but i think it'll be a really cool thing to kind of add um, and we can use the two meter path to achieve it to make it look a bit smaller rather than having a massive path just floating around in the air um, so yeah i kind of been prepping for that but like i've already said the big one gang is adventure africa and that is basically what we have to by all means start working on next time i say that now i'll probably end up doing another DLC animal. So there you have it my friends, we're done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wings Zoo. I really really hope you've enjoyed this, make sure you let me know what you've made of today's episode in the comment section below and by dropping me a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Um, I am going to be back again later today hopefully with another video, I can't promise that will come today, it might come tomorrow but um, uh, yeah that will be uh, a, a big deep dive into all of the new items in the DLC um, so do look out for that my friends but um, enjoy the cinematics but until next time if you're new around here please consider hitting that subscribe button drop a like on the video like I've already said if you have enjoyed it uh, but until next time my friends you stay safe stay humble and I will see you real real soon